This video provides a short description of how high tunnel crop producers can utilize shade cloth for pest exclusion with minimal side effects. Basic principles of the high tunnel pest exclusion system have been described in part one and part two of this series. Mention of company names and products does not mean an endorsement. Shade cloths are sold by many vendors. The high tunnel models with lock stitch shade cloth shown here have wide openings that provide a range of pest exclusion at a relatively low cost. The monofilament shade cloth manufactured by FarmTech has fine openings. All these models that were used for laboratory-based beneficial insect studies have an opening at the bottom for introducing aphids as a substrate or food for beneficial insects. Tests were replicated three times and results are as follows. Convergent lady beetles were bought from Arbico Organics. We focused on the adult beetle movement across shade cloths since they are the first colonizers in field crops infested with aphids. We have examined lady beetle behavior in response to two aphid species. Using about 200 potato aphids as substrate, the only fabric that completely excluded lady beetles was the 50% farm tech shade cloth due to the fine knitting. We found a stronger movement of lady beetles in response to sugarcane aphids, which is an invasive insect pest of sorghum in Alabama. Using field collected aphid colonies, the test again showed a partial exclusion of convergent lady beetles with 50% farm tech shade cloth. It is easy to estimate these results will be very different if lady beetle larvae were used in the study. Green lacewing adults are larger than lady beetles, especially with large exposed wings attached to the thorax. This explains the significant differences observed with various grades of shade cloth. A 50% fine shade cloth excluded lacewing adults, whereas 40% shade cloth slowed their entry. This slide shows the aggressive host searching behavior of lady beetles moving through various types of fabric. Wide openings of the 40 or 50% knitted fabric from Polytech and Greentech allows lady beetles to penetrate while stopping leaf-footed bugs, a major pest of solanaceous crops. Super light insect barrier and other thin fabric can be used to temporarily protect crops from pests in high tunnels, not using the permanent exclusion system. If needed, Producers can release lace wings and lady beetles sold commercially by vendors like Gardens Alive, Arbico Organics, and Rincon Vitova Insectaries for controlling small insect pests. Contact the author or a regional extension agent for developing a suitable IPM plan for your farm. Please refer to these publications to read more about the HTPE system. You can also find additional pest and beneficial insect pictures on our Facebook page. We recommend new and beginning farmers to subscribe to the Alabama IPM Communicator e-newsletter using the website for receiving up-to-date pest management information.